to somewhere you too actually yeah <laughs> oh nice uh, so i have all my stuff stuff here Oh, this is nice. Uh, yeah, I think it's not <laughs> organized like supposed to, but you know, like I said, I was selling online. I was selling on eBay. I don't know. You use eBay? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I use eBay. Yeah. Use eBay. Yeah, I was using eBay, but now I don't really have much time now. I do a lot of real estate now, so I don't have. Oh, you got into real estate? Yeah. You know, I I I really love doing eBay. But unfortunately, man, Just you no know, time. it requires time. Yeah. So I have some stuff here. I also have some stuff here. Let me show you right here. Some more stuff. I mean, I got rid of a lot of stuff already. So I got some more games here. Okay, let's see. These are the loose. The loose games right here. Uh, yeah, some of the loose ones. Yeah, I got game, games everywhere, man. And yeah, I see. You got some, uh... Yeah, I was doing a lot of video games. I was selling, like, I was in a lot of games. I got rid of a lot of stuff. Where were you getting your stuff from? So, I was... There was a guy, you know, I built a connection with him. Mm -hmm. So, he would go out, find Storage stuff. units and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And I would get it from him at mm -hmm. a good price. And sometimes on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. But most of the stuff I, you know, I got from him. And I, uh... I used to get some stuff from uh, Shop Goodwill. The oh, online. I tried there. It's right. Sort of, yeah. Yeah. Um. It right now is. I mean, last time I checked, it was. It wasn't worth it. Yeah, that's why every time I go on, everybody yeah, the price gotta, goes yeah, up. But before I was getting good deals. It's just oh, you man. have to like bid a lot. Yeah. A lot in order for I you. don't like it because it uh you have to keep refreshing the page. Yeah. It doesn't like. So, now, nah, me, what I was doing, I was like, you know, I'm just going to bid a bunch, the max that I'm willing to pay. Oh, oh and yeah. And I'll check That's smart. the next day, whatever. Or they send me an email that I, wa that I want. But That's a lot smart. of the time, you don't. This is what I use. Take my picture. Uh, oh, this is... Okay, I had one of these. You but had it, one of those? It was small. <laughs> small yeah, and I, I, I had a small one, too. But, like, hold on, wait a minute. Yeah, no, this bigger. is nice. Wow. Because, you know, I can fit the systems there. And I was getting a good picture. I didn't even know it came that big. I don't know if you do like eBay. What I yeah, I uh, use eBay. Realized too is I was doing on my phone. Yeah. It takes time, man. You don't like it on your phone? Oh, you. So I, I use. I one see. Thing I can tell you, like with this camera. So you know, because when I was doing on my phone, I used to take a picture, then save as a draft, and then you yeah, know, or just like. Uh, airdrop them so it takes time you so, do it on your computer when you did it yeah so with this i just first i you know prep all the games yeah i take i take all the pictures i was doing like 60 70 games a, a day wow for like two or three hours that's so, it just wow yeah, i was just take a picture then i just put on the computer then i, and I go there and this is what i use to I'll tell you right here i use this scan what? <laughs> So then it's, <laughs> all I have to do is just some of the game. I just boom scan it. The title is right there. I Where does it the, show up on the? In, it's gonna show on eBay. What? Yeah, you don't have to type in all the. Oh. How did you do this? So you just like scan it. Oh. Right pops up right there. Oh my goodness! And, and then I have I don't know how you do it, but I have my description already like saved. Oh, I see people do this. Yeah. So all I have to do is just because I use the same description. That I offer for all my games. Yeah. And I put and here I, too. I have something already. Like, I all I have to do is just paste. Yeah, that's a good setup. I I've been I just started in October. How long was you doing it? Um, I'll say like five years. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That, <laughs> yeah. That's why you got a system. Know, if you start selling everything, you don't have the setup for it. Trust me, you're gonna waste a lot of time. Yeah. So if you wanna sell video games, it's good. I would say, yo, if you get the right setup. You're gonna save so much time. I'm copying your setup. Because, yeah, yeah. I like go that. For it, <laughs> go for it. One thing I can tell you this thing, yo. How much? Lowest. Uh huh. Get this. It's not really like for shipping, they use it for, like for painting. But. Oh, I pay $15 and the roll is like small. So, yo, this one, $13. 13 13 for this big ass thing. What is this? What did you get? What is this Lowe's. called? Lowe's. What are Lowe's? What is it called? Let me write this down. This is, if you go on like the painting thing, I don't know what it is. Just go to the painting aisle? Paint you'll find. And it's bigger than this, because like, I used it. 
Oh, oh man, you got all the strategy. As, as you go, you start <laughs> to like figure some things out because it's gonna take some time. Are these in there? Uh, no, this no just the boxes. The box. Okay. I I have some PS4, but I got those, those all the parts that I I usually take out the motherboard. It's crazy because people pay almost the same price for the for the motherboard of the PS4. Yeah. Oh, so I you would. That. I was selling the motherboard, then I was selling the power supply. Um, now I was selling the disk drive. Wow, so yeah. you part it out and yeah, sell the part, parts. You have, it takes a little bit of time to, to take them out. And I used to get them for parts too. Like a lot of them, um, sometimes it just they just need to be updated. Do they sit for a long time? Like, do they sell fast? Like The the system, nah, they sell fast. This is, that's why, like, for me, that's why I always stick with video games because they, yeah. they move fast. With the eBay is you have to stay consistent. Yeah. So you have to pick like certain amount that you're gonna list so you have to list that every single day mm -hmm. like seven days a week um the days that you can't that's why it's very important you make drafts mm -hmm. the games you want to pay around two dollars if you get them for around two dollars uh, some you'll make you know six to seven dollar profit um if you have time like you know even if it's small profit but with the right setup if you can list maybe I was listing one game in less than a minute. So if you can beat that. Oh my goodness. Um, it takes list, me an hour to list if you, 10. If you list 30 a day, cons like stay consistent, you will see sales every single day. So you're going to take all the games. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. um, you know, so I'll, you know I'll, I'll give you a price that you'll make your money. Uh, a lot of the these games, some are under $10, uh, some sport ones. And it depends on... Like, like how you do it on your time. So me, when I was doing some of the games, if it's under ten dollars, I'll just bundle, maybe like bundle with two, mm -hmm. three, just to make it work. Do these PS2s work right here? This one, the I think door is jammed. This one. See right oh here. yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. So I think you, so. These will be for parts. That one's yours. That's silver. That one. This one. I got this from a guy. Guess what he did? He didn't tell me anything about this. See that? What is it? Oh. This is the power thing. So I bought, you know, that's the other thing too. I was buying a lot of stuff from Facebook. A lot of the time, you know, they said, hey, it works, it works. Yeah, that's and happened then, to me. Yeah. Do you have any any consoles? I saw the PS3. Yeah, so this PS3. PS3. I have another PS3. And I can see if I can uh, connect you with that guy. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, like you wanna, you wanna build connection. Build okay, so connection. Just like be loyal to to people. You know, and then they're gonna go find stuff from for you. Mm -hmm. Some a lot of these, I didn't test them because when I you know when I bought them, I was not doing much. Okay. So, these are good, like if you get Mario the game, you can bundle them, or you could do a bundle of like four. Uh, yeah, a lot of the time is research. Oh, look, more games here. Yeah, I got some stuff. Is that a bag of, oh, these work? Some of these, you know, they need, you gotta clean them. If you can't test them, you can sell them for like as is. Yeah. But these, like, the original ones, they usually go for like $25 each. All right, yeah. I'm down to take. Now let's put some over here. Let's make a, let's make a fire. Yeah.
Bro. 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 Oh my goodness. Dude, I can't even look. This is just no. <laughs> Bro. Oh my god. What have I done? The absolute most insane grandest grand doy, the largest massive pickup I've ever done. I Look at this, look at this. This was really like a once in a lifetime opportunity. I couldn't pass up on it. I had to take it. These two bins aren't part of it, but all this stuff around it, I had to even consolidate. There's another box underneath there. I had consolidated a lot of it. I got rid of a lot of bins because I was taking up way more space than this right here. Now, you know, normally I'd go through every individual game and tell y'all the price, but bro, Bro, it's just literally impossible for me to go through every single game that was in this entire massive lot that I just picked up. And it's crazy because I was just, I don't know if I was talking about it on my main channel or my second channel, but I was just talking about how I wanted to increase, like do volume more than I was looking for like quality games. And randomly, as I was perusing through Facebook Marketplace, as I am always am, because I'm not addicted, I'm just saying like I do it, you know, like every day and i see this listing and this person has this giant stack of games like this right here except it was all one console like he'd have a giant stack of ps4 games a giant stack of xbox games wii games and so on and so on so i dm'd him and i was like yo dude could you do me a oh also in this listing he said price firm so i was like dude it could you do me a deal if i literally bought everything off of you and he said he was down but to be honest it dude it was a it was an adventure because it, was, it felt a little scammy because I, I was like, yo, can you put everything on pending? He was like, okay, I'll put everything on pending, but are you sure you're gonna buy everything? And I'm like, dude, yes, I'm down to buy. I'm legit. I wanna buy everything. And then he's like, all right, I have some stuff that I didn't list. You want every, I was like, every single thing. I, I was like, send me some pictures of stuff and then hit me with a, oh God, this is gonna fall. And hit me with a price and days go by and I'm hitting him up every day. Like, yo, what's up? Are you ready for this? Like, what's going on? Days go by. He's like, you know what? Honestly, I just don't have time. I have two jobs. You have to come to my house. Now, mind you, we we haven't even settled on a price yet. I asked him where does he live and it's not in a good area. And he said he doesn't have like Venmo or anything. So I have to bring cash. And now I'm just like, this is a scam. But as you can see, it was not. The dude was so extremely knowledgeable. He hit me with so many different gems and was just, he was, he's was he been reselling for five years and he was giving me the rundown on his whole setup on everything that he did. He even hooked me up with his scanner and he was telling me how he could like list a game in a minute or less. Dude, it takes me an hour to list 10 games. To do 10 games in 10 minutes is crazy. He, I, he showed me how he did like the whole like, Oh gosh, his method and systems are way more efficient than mine, at least by what he was saying. So I'm definitely gonna be trying that out for myself. So full transparency, this is actually like, I think two days later, three days later or something. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I'm extremely overwhelmed. This is the largest purchase I've done since I started reselling. And I'm just, I didn't know I needed to come home and just like, first of all, take a breath and then just organize and separate everything that I picked up. I got this bin full of controllers here. These are a bunch of wires and power cables. We got the uh, the VR uh, thingy thingy. I don't even know if anything else goes to this, but mostly just like power cables and um, like AV cords and stuff in here with, the, with some other random stuff. There was a lot, a lot of Wii stuff. There's a bunch of Nintendo the Wii wheels, Wii motes over here as well. There's like a bag of Wii motes, and I think is this no, no. There's there's somewhere there's like bags of Wii motes and Wii nunchucks and stuff. There's a bunch of Wii stuff. Oh, I think I found it. Here we go. Look, here we go. We got the bag of Wii nunchucks. There's just like a bunch of Nintendo stuff. We got Nintendo controllers, some more Wii motes, a bunch of Wii motes, and then over here is the consoles. We have one Nintendo, two Nintendos a nintendo 64 a ps1 ps3 and another ps3 oh and an og xbox 360. i don't think i'm gonna be testing consoles in this video because well my table is very occupied right now down here we have all of the empty game cases now i'm not gonna lie i was super excited when i saw these on the shelf i was i walked straight up to it he was like oh these are all empty i was like no but a lot of these in here that I had no idea. Matter of fact, I was getting kind of worried because as I'm going through everything, I realized I didn't even ask. I didn't check. I'm, there's too many games to check. I didn't check to see if everything was in there. I didn't know if I got scams. I paid them out mostly cash. 
and uh, the rest was on like Cash App or something like, yeah, yeah, we use Cash App. And so I'm going through the case. I'm like, oh, this is so many more empty cases than I thought there was going to be. I was like, dude, I got scammed. I got, I was so worried. And then we over here, we have some Switch uh, and one PSP, but these are all empty cases. Again, I have uh, this game info. No, this is a strategy guide along with the poster for the getaway. And then another strategy guide for a GTA 5. Now, uh, like I said, I'm not going to be going through every single game to show y'all what we got because it's a lot, but I will show y'all some cool stuff that I did come across. We have a CIB Vector Man for the Sega Genesis, a CIB Formula One for the Sega Genesis. Now remember, I said cool, not expensive. A CIB Miss Pac-Man for Sega Genesis, John Madden Football 93 for the Super Nintendo. It's boxing game only, but dude, I don't remember the last time I held a Super Nintendo video game box. This is like peak nostalgia for me. Well, I don't even know how to say that. True Golf Classics. YLA Super Nintendo. This box, by the way, is in really good condition. But again, it's boxing game only. Well, box game and whatever this is, I turned into Bowser's worst nightmare. We got Blades of Steel for the NES boxing game only and Major League Baseball for NES game and box only. Then we have this thing, which I've never seen before that I thought was super cool. The free commemorative launch coin. I guess that came with Mario. Oh, it's in the little sleeve. I guess this came with your copy of Super Mario Galaxy when you bought it or pre-ordered it or something. I don't know. I said this plenty of times, but I missed completely on the Wii, Wii U and all almost every other Nintendo console outside the N64 and GameCube. But still, this is really awesome and I really wish games would still do stuff like this. I love it. Now for a game that's worth some pretty decent coin. We got Jersey Devil, which I think is like a $40, 40 to $50 game, just the disc. We got 50 Cent Bulletproof, which is about a $25 to $35 game disc only. Dude, y'all could only imagine how wide my eyes opened when I saw this. But then I looked and it said DVD-ROM and I was like, no! But this is still a really good find. Silent Hill 4, the room DVD this goes for about like 30 to 40 dollars i think also you know what i realized i didn't never went through this little book look thingy right here we have star wars battlefront or star wars 2 battlefront we got gran turismo 2 freedom fighters another copy of kingdom hearts i've got multiple look we got kingdom hearts right there i've got multiple copies of a lot of games in here we got battlefield 2 modern combat tomb raider 2 starring lara croft that's hilarious star wars masters of terror terror okay yeah whatever i've never seen star wars okay tomb raider chronicles die hard trilogy tony hawks pro skater 3 sonic plus mega collection uh i think that's it so i counted every single video game that i got in this buyout including the discs oh wait a minute i didn't count the little binder thing okay i had to redo my calculations for everything but now i got it there are a total of 827 games in this entire lot and i spent one thousand dollars on all of this i was trying to get 900 i was really Really trying to get 900 but he wasn't budging so we settled on a thousand dollars which means my cost of goods per game is one dollar and 21 cents now i've mentioned this previously but the lowest i'd ever sell a game on my store is two dollars and 90 cents and i promote at three percent and after taxes fees and all of that good stuff i get back a dollar 53 from ebay on a two dollar 90 cent sale and a three percent promotion which is a profit of 32 cents meaning if i sold every single video game in this lot at the lowest price that i ever list anything i would profit 200 $64.64. You can see I did some like real hardcore math on all of this because $1,000, that's a lot. The largest purchase I've I've made by far. <laughs> it's funny that these are all sports. I even lifted this up to another sports game. It's not all sports games. It is a lot of just like kind of not, I don't want to say bread and butter, but more like just like $5 to $10 games, $15 games. I think at most you'll see is like a $20 game if we're lucky, but it's mostly like $5 to $10 to $15 games. But there are some really solid titles that won't sell for a lot, but they will sell fast. So what do you think? Am I convincing y'all that it was a good buy or am I just trying to convince myself that it was a good buy? I really want to know your opinions on it. Now, mind you, that is a worst case scenario. There is a lot more valuable games in here than $2.90. But that also didn't include any of the extras, the consoles, all of this good stuff. Oh gosh, stuff is falling on me, of course. Even some of these game cases are valuable. I'm pretty sure I can get like at least $5 for this Mario Kart DS case. But to be on the safe side, I'm actually gonna track this. If y'all haven't already, please go follow my second channel. It's called I'm Just Key Flips and it's basically a what so channel. I gotta find a way to custom skew all of these so that I know when a game sells from this haul. But I will be tracking every single sale made from this haul and I'll be cataloging it on my second channel and we will see when if 
hopefully I break even. You can see I got my little sheet set up on like the very end of the table. I started listing 15 items a day to my store and I wasn't gonna miss a day or beat just because I got a table full of games. So I listed these 15 here last night to my store. If y'all wanna follow along this journey on my largest purchase ever made and when I break even, please tell me I'll break even. Go follow my second channel. I'm just Key Flips. The link will be down in the description and I'll see y'all on the next one.